Hey there, and welcome to another installment of Tom's World. Today we're at a place that I've never been before. Quite honestly, I never even really heard of it until just recently, and I decided this morning at the last minute, what the heck, let's go check it out. We're at Play Wiki Farm, a place that has tons of history and a lot of great trails to walk on, and we're gonna learn a little bit about their history, just a little snippet that I get from their website, and then we're gonna go walk the trails and see what there is to see here. So let's get into the history. All right, so I figured what I would do is I would just walk past the uh, the farmhouse here and the carriage house and give you a closer look as I read from the history. So let's get into this little snippet of history. Much of PlayWiki Farm's importance lies in its evolution over time, with the overall history of the site combining to paint a picture of Bucks County from hundreds of years ago through the present day. What makes the property significant both... Sorry, let me try that again. <laughs> What makes the property significant, both locally and regionally, is that it has documented evidence of Native American habitation. More than three centuries ago, Playwiki Farm was awarded to William Penn as part of a land grant. Over the next 80 years, three different families owned the land. In 1764, a Dutch farmer named Simon von Artsdalen, Arch, something like that, you can look that up. A-R-T-S-D-A-L-E-N. Um, for over 173 years, six generations of that family lived and worked on the farm we now call Play Wiki. So what you're looking at now, right here, this is the carriage house. And we'll walk down a little bit here so you can get a closer look. And here's the uh, other side of the farmhouse. Now, I had the privilege of being able to go inside and get a little tour and some explanation from somebody who works here. And I'm gonna put that in the video after we're done looking at this and then before we start going around the trails. Isn't that cute? They got a water fountain, a little one for your dog, restrooms. And you can tell this place, it, it has age to it now. This side of the farmhouse is actually newer. It was an addition. The other side was the original, very small. And uh, there's some history involved in that original house. This is the, uh, the barn house, which is not the original. Uh, it was remade. And I'm guessing that these ruins right here are what's left of the old barn. So, and this is a chicken coop. From what I saw on the map anyway, she didn't tell me that. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. All right. Let me let me uh, get the video in here of the little tour I got of the inside. We didn't get to go upstairs or in the basement, but she did invite me to come back anytime, and I can contact her. And um, yeah, I look forward to that. I look forward to seeing much more of this place. I'm starting to get really, really psyched about the history. Is this original furniture? Or? This is original. Wow. This is from the Van Arsdalen family that lived here and worked here when they bought it off of uh, uh, William Penn. Wow, it's one of those places that you can actually smell, like I don't know what that smell is when you go into like a real historic place. This is real historic, yeah. And you could smell it, like a couple places I've been to had it. This is very paranormal. There is a, I, lot, you know of, what? Uh, a lot of activity within the house all over the land um, because of the history right so and it goes way back so when i originally started with this uh i had a, a, a rat i had something happen in the house and it sort of freaked me out wow so what i did was i contacted a group that uh do those investigations so we brought in mediums and investigations and all of it was history. There was no nonsense. Right. What what came about, and we did it probably about 10 times simply because there was so much to do. Wow. And you couldn't do it in one investigation. But um, there's no evil or anything like that. These are just people that lived and died on this property and they never left. Ooh, and there you the go. And the Indians are to the outside. The people are to the inside, including children. The carriage house is also very haunted. The barn is not because it's been renovated. Right. And there were changes made. 
we, we do investigations. I haven't done them in the last few years, and the reason I stopped it was because it was getting uh, a little over the top, and uh, a couple things occurred, and I thought, no, I, I need to stop this because it was affecting, it, it affects people. Yeah. So, um, but I'm going to have three or four investigations this fall, mainly because people really want to do that. So I'm going to do it for four of them and allow people to, to do their investigation with their equipment and everything. So it'll be really, really neat for them. So. Yeah. This cabinetry, all of this is all original. The woodwork here. Strange that there's two fireplaces in exactly. one room. Yeah, one and two, and there's one in the kitchen. And wow. I was about to just go into the kitchen. They're, they were so nice they, and warm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really stuffy in here. So um, this furniture, this is Van Arsdale, and also that was handmade. That goes way back. They didn't have closets. They had. Oh, they had to store they had things they somewhere. <laughs> and this is the second part of the house that was actually out in one. Um, probably about probably about uh, about a hundred years later, they wow. added on, and that goes up to an apartment and uh, in the roof area too so so the original house was just that that was the original house now wow. due to the underground railroad this was a safe zone for many many soldiers mm. and people they would come in that door and go down to the basement and of course that's where a lot of activity is oh i would imagine soldiers but this is paraphernalia here from from the Van Orsdalen family, they left all of this stuff to the Playbook Reform Foundation. It's all original to them, um, you know, f from their estate. So it's all marked and everything. So, and we have a lot of other things, but we just showcase certain things at certain times. Right. Wow. And then this one also. This mostly is what was, this is one, this little bugger here. He, He's probably here right now. <laughs> yeah, he's... Well, feel free to come up on my video, man. Yeah, he's a, <laughs> he's a piece of work. But these are things that were found to the outside. They, they do mean something because it was equipment that they utilized, but that's how it looks. Yeah, that was like a, like, a, like a mortar. And yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I can see that. these are all uh, original from them. And this is from the digs. See, there was a lot of digs here. Oh, they had people out like yeah, doing metal detecting. Yeah, University. Um, you know the uh, couple of the um, museums. I know of some local people on YouTube that do metal detecting too. If you yeah. ever, if you ever we have an event again. A lot of people do that here, and unfortunately, they left with the stuff and they never gave it to. Oh, uh, these people that when I've seen them, if they go to a place and it's requested that they give back all the stuff they've had, they do. It's all no, about she, making the videos. I wasn't around then, or I would have made sure it happened. <laughs> But anyway, this is uh, this was a sunroom. We redid this room. We've done a lot of work. We do projects around here, and this was uh, this was a mess. So we redid this too. This is a foundation. We put wow. our money towards that. Yeah, you can tell so a lot of it's is, new. Uh, it was a drop zone. It looked terrible in our bathroom, of course. So that's pretty good. Wow. And then we did the kitchen. I don't know what shape it's in right now. <laughs> it's summertime, and we get bugs. Oh. A lot of what I see in my videos have bugs, yeah. so I'm usually outside. Uh, this was a dirt floor. This was the original kitchen space, and this is where they cooked. You know, but we uh, we couldn't even make coffee, so we did it up big. Yeah, it was very so. modern looking with this, but it, and it looks really cool with the original mm -hmm. walls. Yeah, it's all <laughs> with all the modern part. stuff. This part we're having trouble with, and the township's yeah. handling it. Some water but, uh, coming in. Yeah. So, but we're having a new roof put on the house, yeah. probably in about two or three weeks. When I started here, it was all kinds of stuff was in here, and it was a dirt floor. It was a mess, and I, I said, "Why don't we just do a kitchen?" Yeah. So here we yeah, are. Looks we good. Did, we did that up there. So uh, we do have, you know, where people can walk through because we have certain days where we have open house. Wow. Yeah, I never expected to get inside. I just thought I'd be standing outside. Yeah, <laughs> now this guy, Allegra, very good friend of mine over the years when I was in banking. A, he's been in business for a long, long time, and I had a tough time getting a sponsor this year, locally. Right. So, anyway, I approached him. He did it so that we could 
cover our, our fees and everything with um, the events we have. So I, I can understand. You know that, so. All right, so that was pretty cool. You know that I got to meet somebody new. I got to see the inside of the uh, the farmhouse. It's very interesting. Much like I had stated, as soon as you walk in, you can you can smell that. I, I don't know. I think musty would be a wrong choice in words. Um, it's it's just a distinct smell that somewhere that has age has, and it's I don't know. I enjoy that smell, even if it is mildew or must or mold. I, I don't know. I don't think it's mold because you know there's been places where there is no mold and I can still smell it so so as we're walking down the uh, the path here I see that they have a playground it's like right here in the front I think somebody's in there swinging so I won't get them on camera so you can see they have various different activities here for the uh, for the kids to enjoy so one thing I can say most definitely and, and I normally would not have paid attention to this until I started working at Nishamini but you know they do a great job keeping everything mowed here and it looks good you know they have their area where it just grows wild uh, much like we do over in Nishamini and at Benjamin Rush but they make sure to mow the edges keep it looking nice and then that way they can put in things like benches like down there which that's probably about the third bench that I've seen and I've only just started here and I did see that they had a, uh, a trash receptacle back there um, and they probably have them throughout very very well maintained and the further you get from the, the road the more quiet it gets you can hear the sound of my ice <laughs> I don't know if you heard the sound of that fly going by the microphone. Oh, and they do uh, dedications on the benches too. Very cool. It almost looks like it'd be a wetlands back there just based on the kind of plants that are growing. Might be. I could be wrong. You'd never even know there was a road up there. It's like being transported back in time. Limestone quarry at Playwicky Farm. And the remains of the lime kiln. You know, I think I saw a video it's, it's probably a year or two old, maybe more, of somebody uh, restoring a lime kiln somewhere not far from here. But she did say to go check out the limestone quarry. As she had mentioned, that uh, it's been said that there's some paranormal activity that goes on in this place. Especially in the farmhouse, and she believes it to be. And I don't know if I kept that part in or I edited it out, but... Um, they all believe it to be the the families like no one malicious or anything uh, just the families that used to live here and that they just don't want to leave and I don't blame them I mean look at all this this is beautiful Wow this is really really cool Now, I mean, I had to come off the main path, but this was all mowed out, so I almost fell. <laughs> it seems like at least once in every video, I almost fall. One of these times, one of these times, you're going to see it. I promise you, I'm too accident prone to go too long without actually falling. But she did say you cross a bridge... And then the limestone quarry should be right back there. Benches and flowers. A lot of little divots in the ground, but I don't mind. I 
guess this is the bridge she was talking about. I didn't see any others. Must be a little runoff of Nishamini Creek. Because that goes all around this park. Or this area, I should say. And don't get it confused. There is a, uh, a Play Wiki Park. And it's not far from here. Much smaller than these grounds. And uh, well, now we're going uphill. So I'm a little confused. No swimming. I I don't think that's a problem out there. Unless that's swamp. I think it is. At first glance, I thought it was all grass. Well, there's just been too many... Uh, I can't read this. There's been too many options as far as which way to go. And I don't want to get too far off the main trail because... I'd like to see a lot of this place. Of course, spider webs. Of course, gotta have them. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice. Allergies. That's a. Uh, that's definitely swamp. Let's see if we can get a rock here. There we go. Yep. Very cool. I mean, is this, is this limestone? I don't know. I don't even know what it looks like. Oop. All right. <laughs> a mama deer just, just kind of snorted at me. You can see her back there. I'm, I'm good. I'm not going that way. <laughs> you made my mind up for me. I don't know if the quarry's up that way. I know that when we got to the end of this bridge, a, tra a small trail went off the other way. And yes, I did spray some deep woods off on the lower half of my body. But I, I really don't want to take that way now because the deer's down that way. I don't want to disturb her, but I also don't want her to go on the attack if she has babies back there. Those hooves can really hurt. Oh well. No worries. This will not be our last trip here. I can guarantee that. This place is beautiful. Wow. You can hear all the birds. All right, let's get back out to the main trail, make a right and keep going. Would see him up ahead. We have a uh, familiar friend type, and I think he spotted me. Did you see him? <laughs> He's still there. Little groundhog. All right, we're back out on the main trail. Just walking around. It would seem that like all of these benches are in memory of someone. That's really cool. We have a, a tree dedicated to someone. Wow, so the benches and the trees get dedicated. So it looks like there's another one up here, unless that's just a plate showing what it is. Nope, in loving memory. 
That's awesome. And here they do it different, like the bench already exists, they just put a plate on there. And the Chamonix, you have to purchase the bench and request having that on there. Wow. That looks beautiful. With the sky and everything. Like you can't see, if I turn it this way, you can't even see a single telephone pole or line. Rare to find places like this so close to home. This place is like a, a mixture of Benjamin Rush State Park and the Chamonix State Park. Only it has a different feel. And it's, a, it's, it's very quiet. I mean, you can hear maybe my footsteps and the ice jig, jiggling around in my, uh, I have like a big thermos. Because that little one I have that always makes the ding sound, that wasn't going to be enough. Because I knew I had to cover a lot of ground here. A lot of people uh, jogging around here and running or just merely walking. Of course, you're not going to see any of them on my video. Matter of fact, the only other person you'll see on this video will be the woman that I met, and I believe her name was Rose. Um, and uh, she was she was super nice. As soon as I walked up to her, I said hi. She said, are you a photographer? Because she saw the gimbal in my hand. I said, nope, I'm a YouTuber. I explained what I do, and she was really interested to get me into the house and take a look around. Really cool inside that house. I don't mean temperature wise. <laughs> temperature wise, it was stuffy and hot. But it was it was just really cool being in that little tiny living room. And they have a fireplace on either side. I mean that must have been like the warmest room in the house in the winter. And there's a whole story here. Now I'm not gonna read all this. But I'll pan down so you can see it all and you can pause the video if you want to read it. If you can read it. <laughs> and they do have a Facebook page for PlayWiki Farm. You go check it out. Make sure you like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. See? Allergies. Make sure you like that page. And uh, it'll lead you to their website and stuff, I believe, and we'll be able to get the full history. At this point, we're pretty far from, from the farmhouse. There's like houses down through there. We got a long road to go. <laughs> And a lot of that doesn't have shade. Fun stuff. It's all right though. Through the magic of editing, you all won't have to see every single second of my walk. Just the areas that like, when you look at them, you're just like, wow. Like that. I mean, some people see things like that and they say, yeah, it's just a field of weeds and stuff like that. But no, these, these are all natural things growing, like native. I mean, there's something in the middle there that is really different from anything else in there. So that might have been, I don't know, maybe it was a bush or a tree or something at some point that was purposely planted here by one of the former owners. But, yeah, I just, I don't know. When I look out, I don't see the weeds. I just see nature. Obviously, I'm kind of fond of it. Now that I'm up higher, uh, that, that same plant down there that I said that looks different than anything else, I can actually see that there's, there's quite a few of them out there. So, it's not that unique, but still, it stands out. They all do. Not sure how it comes through on the video, but... With the naked eye, it stands out. I still love this. Now we're at a part of the path that comes close to the road. 
for the life of me, I can't remember what road this is. <laughs> Even though I just drove up it. But, uh, maybe there's a sign out here. Nah, I don't see one. That would probably have to be one of the hottest benches to sit on. I think we're rounding, around, rounding the corner here and we're probably going to be down back towards the uh, farmhouse. Then again, maybe not. I don't know. We walked a long ways, so... And it's hard sometimes to keep your bearings as to the directions and stuff like that that you're walking in. Sometimes you think you're going in a straight line and you're not. Found that out early on walking around in the Chamonix before I knew how to get around in there. Now I know the place like the back of my hand. All right, dad joke. Looks at the back of his hands. Oh my God, what's that? I didn't say it was a good dad joke. I just said dad joke. I'm allowed to say dad jokes. I'm a dad. All right. Maybe we're not as close to the farmhouse as I thought. Then again, maybe we are. I don't know. It's hard to tell through the trees. I see, I see something there, so that could be it. Got this, got this rather large rock here. I wonder if it says something on the front. Well, on the back, it says food. I don't think that's food. Oh, there you go. Play Wiki, Play Wiki Indian Town, 1682. It's located to the... All right, I got to get closer to the camera because the car is going by. It was located to the south in the Vale by the Run and Springs. The, you know what? Here, you can read it. <laughs> there you go. I'm getting away from the road. That's better. And I can see that we are near the parking lot where where I came in. And uh, the path doesn't go down that way. <laughs> so we'll keep walking the path. I still got plenty of water left. One of these tires will come back here. I'll look for that quarry. Or what's left of it. See, I could cheat. I could just walk across the grass here and go down there. It's about where we started our journeys on the paths. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to see what's up past the parking lots. There's a couple things to see up here. That's why I wanted to uh, keep going on the path. Some old farm equipment. Plus the sign up here. Got to get a picture of that. Need something for my thumbnail, right? <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? Looks very familiar, does it not? Like something that's over on the side of Sorobia Garden that's rusting away. It's the same thing. It's a cultivator. I think that's what it's called. Only the one over by the garden doesn't have the seat anymore. But it's got the same same little curved spike things. Oops. Seat. And uh, we'll go over here. There's some, some wheels and the sign. Hundred and ten acres. Some more uh, old equipment over here. 
see what we got. A little bit of a wind kicked up. Feels good. So my best guess, not a farm guy, that this is another kind of a cultivator. Obviously would have been uh, horse drawn, as I think all this stuff would have been. Got parts of an old wagon, two of them actually. Another one over here. Difference being, this is obviously more modern. It's got the rubber tires. These ones don't. I'm not even going to wager a guess at <laughs> what either of these two are. I mean, maybe this is one of those things that makes the rows. I mean, that's what I thought a cultivator would be. I don't know. There is also a road that goes down here. Obviously, you're not allowed to drive down here. But this probably just goes around the back of the barn. So I could see, once again, those uh, ruins of the former barn. And the back end of uh, everything, like where they got their dumpsters and stuff. There's parts of the barn. We'll go up and around. I'll get a closer look. I don't know if that keeps going. So far it looks like it does. See, these are all mental note things. Oh, there's a rabbit down there too. You know what, this probably connects with that other area I was at where I crossed the bridge. More than likely. We will find out though. Some point, I am coming back here. I'm coming back here more than one more time. This place is awesome. Probably more awesome when it's not, when I'm not like sweating. So yeah, there's uh, what I believe to be the ruins of the old barn. Maybe, just maybe I can get a slightly closer look. The old uh, chicken coop. Looks like it's more storage now than anything else. Pretty well overgrown. Obviously another storage area for trash receptacles and for recycling receptacles. Here we are back at the farmhouse. Ooh, man. So I'm gonna get back to the car. Get the heck out of here, go home into the air conditioning for a while and then start editing this video. So I wanna thank you all for coming along on this journey. This was a very beautiful place. I love this place. You know my first love is always gonna be in the Chamonix. Don't ever think that I'm... <laughs> I just almost fell again. Look, <laughs> I wasn't taking notice. I was too busy looking around and talking. Don't ever think that that Nishamini will ever fall from being number one. It always will be. Now I'm just gonna sit down here and do my little wrap up thing. So, here's the house. So what I was saying, this side is the original. And then they built this one on afterward. And to get the actual timeline of that, you can always go to their website, check it out. Or you could just wait till I eventually come out and make a more detailed video of this place. 
Uh, like I said, it's not too far from home and wish I would have known about this place sooner. You know, I could have been delving deep into the history. As I mentioned, it was originally owned by William Penn, as most places in Bucks County were. <laughs> so uh, you know it has some interesting history. And uh, yeah, so I wanna, I wanna get out of here. So I'll just once again say thank you for coming along on this adventure. It was awesome, it was a new place. I appreciate you watching the entire video at this point. And um, if you're not already subscribed, please make sure that you do hit the subscribe button. When you do that, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I make new videos and you could be one of the first ones to watch them. Also, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button below the video, that would really mean a lot to me. It would help me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. I've said multiple times that I'm, I've been trying so hard to get to 1,000 subscribers. I'm almost there. I have a little over 100 to go, and I'm super excited about that, super stoked. And uh, hopefully you all can help me out with that. All that being said, I'm going to get the heck out of here. I am tired of sweating. And uh, I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Make sure you stay safe, stay healthy, and take care.